Hey y'all, Andrew from Andrea's Sweet TV, back to bring you news and commentary you can use. Listen y'all, this time I'm coming to you live in Costco, okay? So uh, I came here to uh, pick up a few things. Uh, <clears throat> it's the weekend, so a lot of people are out shopping, um, getting things, you know, that they need for their household. Well, one thing that I wanted to come on and talk about, you know, I've talked a lot about the uh, food recalls that have been happening, the alarming number of food recalls that have been happening. And believe it or not, y'all, um, you know, as I look at some of the items that have been recalled, even in the past, a lot of these items are uh, not that there are any of them that I'm about to show you, but a lot of these items are like, um, you know, some of them in uh, some cases are like frozen meals, uh, ready to cook, things that have already, uh, not things, but foods that have already been um, cooked and packaged together. And all you have to do for convenience, okay, and all you have to do is just, you know, get it home and warm it up, put it in the oven, microwave, whatever you choose to do. So my question is, you know, a lot of people come to um, stores like Costco, Sam's Club, and you know, different uh, other places because they're able to buy in bulk, which in turn, you know, could mean that they save money. But then the question that I want to ask is just how safe, okay, is the food um, at these particular places? Um, and why are they the ones more so? that tend to end up on the recall list. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? You know, you like your, I'm just saying for example, okay? I'm not saying that any of these items were recalled, but like your frozen pizzas, your frozen meals. Let me slide over some of them come by. What controls are in place for those different items so that things like recalls uh, won't happen? Hold on, y'all think I have to sneeze. about that okay but yeah y'all that's i started thinking about that you know a lot of people that's what people come here to buy a lot of times um as a matter of fact the past five didn't and just uh looking at a frozen pizza but again just how safe are these items uh in the stores now y'all also know or if you didn't know they actually have, you know, they have where you can sample different items. I'm about to sample a cauliflower crust pizza. Okay. Thank you. Uh-oh. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to see how this tastes. Of course, you know, people sample it and then they have the option to buy it. So this is what it looks like, y'all. They have it in the little cup. Milton's, let me see what it says, Milton's Craft Bakers Thin and Crispy Cauliflower Crust Pizza. It's roasted vegetable. I'm about to try it, y'all. Let me get out of these people's way because they're probably like, what is she doing? They don't know I'm recording. So, yeah, but what I'm saying is a lot of these items, now keep in mind, y'all, these are actually meals that, you know, if you get your recipe, you can actually make things like this at home, okay? Um, chicken breast. What is this? French onion soup. Uh, some type of pasta dish. Okay. All these things are, are meals that you can put together at home yourself. Okay. If you are willing to, if you, you know, have the time and you get the recipes and all of that. So with the recalls, and this is where I want to ask you all, I want to know your thoughts as well. Should more people um, should more people see, look at all these uh, prepared meals, and that's nothing wrong with that, okay? Even from time to time, let's say you press with time, you don't feel like cooking, a lot of times people will get uh, these meals. See, see them? It's convenient, right? But what I'm saying is, when you start to really look and pay attention to the foods that are on the recall list, I'm gonna try the pizza now, y'all. I had to get out the way of so many people. When you look at the foods on the recall list, you will see that a lot of these foods are like the ready-made, breaded, frozen 
type of meals, okay? Should we be cooking more of our food at home? Now, I'm saying that while I'm trying to sample. Okay, so let me try it real quick. Mm. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. That's good. Now I need something to drink. I had some coffee earlier. They were sampling coffee. But, um, did you all see the, um, that was a recent recall, right? I believe it was, um, some meats that you would put on a, I may say this wrong, y'all, so don't laugh. Is it a charcuterie board? Y'all know how they have the wooden boards with the meat, the cheeses? Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Charcuterie, I believe it's called. Um, I need to go over here. I believe those, um, it, it came in a pack, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if I read correctly, I believe it was actually sold at Sam's Club, maybe some other places. But I remember seeing um, Sam's Club as one of the um, providers of that Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I remember, I remember seeing, uh, here y'all, you really gotta pay attention. Cause it's people coming and going and then some people, sometimes people are paying attention, sometimes they are not. But what I'm saying is, um, that the way they packaged it, it was like a, I don't know if it was a party pack, but it was the different um, meats in a pack. I believe it was sold at um, Sam's Club. So what I'm saying is, should we start, whew, I'm in the, uh, this is like the fresh produce section, so it's, it's like being in the inside of a cooler. But what I'm saying, y'all, should we start paying attention to, um, should we start paying more attention to what we are actually buying at stores like this? Do you feel, in your opinion, that uh, we should be making our own, more of our own? So I just want to get your thoughts on that. And to let you know that I appreciate your support for uh, supporting me here on the channel. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon, okay? I, I got to hurry up and get out of here because it's cold. Uh, this is the fresh produce area. Okay, you can see behind me. One thing I like about Costco, um, more so than like Sam's Club, is that uh, it seems like to me now, just based on what I see, you can get more organic foods, it seems like to me, at Costco, okay? Let me get some shopping done, y'all. I'm going to come back and uh, check in with you all. Now, this is a, a pretty good deal. You can get two bags of these uh, carrots for $4.99. I think I'll get some of these, okay? These will be good for juicing. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself, y'all, in this season. Um, it's very easy to get uh, sick, okay, with the weather and the changes in the weather. And so um, keep that in mind, okay? All right, talk to y'all soon. Take care, be blessed. Thank you, thank you for always supporting me here on the channel. And I'll be back to bring the news and commentary you can use. Thanks, y'all.